In this paper, we present the results of a study regarding mid-air hand gestures. We analyze the connections between gesture types and the gesture's meanings. To do this, we physically separated pairs of participants, allowing them only the use of hand gestures without the ability to communicate by speech. One participant was provided with a picture showing the goal of the task and had to direct the other participant to accomplish this goal. We let them accomplish six different tasks. Building a figure out of toy blocks, drawing figures on a sheet of paper, following a predefined path through a maze, filling six glasses with liquid at specified levels and in a specified order, arranging a number of colored paper cutout arrows, and sculpting a figure out of modeling clay. In order to classify the observed gestures into different gesture types, we use the scheme of Karem and Schreifel. However, we had to slightly modify this scheme for our purposes. Just like Karem and Schreifel, we used a two-level classification. The first level was divided by the usage of the gesture, while the second level considered physical appearances. We split the gesture's usage into five major classes. Pointing is used to indicate objects and directions. This may be accomplished using index finger or thumb, and can also include body references. Semaphoric gestures are hand postures or movements associated with specific codes, which result from the user's background. Semaphoric static gestures are hand positions such as thumbs up, OK sign, stop sign, or indicating numbers. Semaphoric dynamic gestures involve hand motions, for example, rotating hands or waving. Semaphoric strokes are rapid movements in a specific direction, for example, to mean stop, drop, or remove. Pantomimic gestures demonstrate actions to be performed, for example, by mimicking, tilting a bucket, kneading clay, empty a box, or grasping. Iconic gestures are used to communicate information about objects or entities, such as size or shapes. In iconic static gestures, this is done by static hand postures, like in showing the shapes, the sizes, or spatial relationships of objects. Iconic dynamic gestures use hand movements, for example, by drawing shapes and paths into mid-air. Finally, manipulation gestures are used to guide an entity, involving a tight relationship between the movements of the actor and the movements of the entity. We analyze these gesture types with respect to the 10 most present gesture functions. Our results show that selection is mainly done by pantomimic acting and pointing. Releasing is performed by pantomimic acting and semaphoric strokes. Accepting is only performed by semaphoric static gestures. While refusing is mostly done using semaphoric dynamic gestures. Removing is only accomplished by semaphoric strokes, pantomimic acting, and semaphoric dynamic gestures. Most gestures for cancelling are semaphoric, mainly they are strokes. Navigation is mostly accomplished by pointing. Identification is majorly performed by pointing, as well as by iconic, dynamic, and semaphoric static gestures. Translation shows less distinct results with semaphoric dynamic gestures, pointing, and pantomimic acting, as well as rotating with iconic dynamic, pantomimic acting, semaphoric dynamic gestures, and pointing.